Welcome project managers. Today I'd like to present an update to the solar panel project WBS. Great news, the solar panels were installed on December 1st, 2013. Not operational yet. We still have to go through the city permit and also the utility company permit. What today I'd like to focus on some of the refinements I've made to the WBS and also the features of using MindView 5 Business Edition in creating the WBS. Second level, project management, pre-construction, construction, inspections, and post-construction. My third level, I've got deliverables. So this is the what had to be delivered for this particular project. So under pre-construction, site survey and assessment, once that is completed, the contract was assigned. We then have permits that we had to obtain. A design package was prepared, product data sheets downloaded from the web, and we hired Stellar Solar to install the solar panels. Construction activities, scope of work included racking and mounting equipment, solar panels, the microinverters, electrical system, in-phase monitor, and the solar panel system testing. I added a WBS Level 2 inspections. We had the City of San Diego inspection and then the utility company, San Diego Gas and Electric. Finally, once the system is operational, we go into post-construction. It will be closeout documentation, final inspection documentation, and then also we get a really cool monitoring website to check the status of the solar panels. Now I want to focus on the features of using MindView in creating the WBS. One of the features is the text note. And let me go over the text note with you. With the text note, I'm able to enter information for each WBS work package. The site survey and assessment, Stellar Solar came to our house. They inspected the house. They reviewed our historical electricity usage. And based on that usage, they came up with the preliminary design requirements, the number of panels in order to achieve a, a net zero of energy usage. They prepared some preliminary design drawings. So this information I'm documenting with each WBS element, the work package level. Under racking and mounting, this is the system that's used to hold the solar panels in place on the roof. And that included some stanchions, some C channels, hardware and sealant. I included my activities. And then for risk, if the tiles break during installation, you need to get some new tiles. It may take longer to install the stanchions if the roof has the kind of the curvy type clay tiles. If there are numerous vents on the roof, it could prevent installation in accordance with the design drawings. It could take a little bit longer to install the solar panels. The electrical system had a number of different components the conduit, control box, wiring. We had to derate the main circuit breakers from 220 down to 150. Some new circuit breakers were installed, had to connect to the ground, and then we painted the conduit, or Stellar Solar painted. These are some of the activities. And there were some risks also. If the panel was not large enough, we need to install the additional breakers, you may need a new panel. If the ground is not to code, then you would have to install a new ground rod. I believe they have to go about 8 to 10 feet into the ground. And then finally, if your house doesn't have sufficient Wi-Fi connection, that'll create some issues when you go to connect the system and access it via the web. Other features of using the mind mapping software is you're able to create links. I've uploaded this content to my Google Drive folder. I really like this approach. I can access information for the project and it's centralized within the mind map. And when I export into Word, I'll also show you a very powerful feature once you export the content to MS Word. This is another example where I have the product data sheets for the in-phase microinverters. One of the features of using MindView is you can view either in an outline or you can view the map. Some folks would rather view the outline view, 
So I go in and I just click outline. I have the option to view information. I can collapse content. I can easily expand content. If I click on the text note editor, I see the information associated with each one of the WBS elements. Very powerful. I like to create the work breakdown structure in the map view. I like to some, sometimes present the content uh, in the outline view. It really just depends on the audience. Two other really powerful features of using MindView software is exporting into Microsoft Word. You have the option to include the graphic, photographs, icons, and the links to various documents that are on the web. Very powerful. This particular Word file is the export from the mind map includes all of the documents associated with this project, photographs, the map itself, and then of course the work breakdown structure. And I've also included the note field. Fantastic information associated with each work package. I have the scope, the activities, this is how I'm going to perform the scope, and the potential risk associated with this project for that particular work package. Also had the option to export into Excel. Does a very nice job in exporting. Indents nicely. You're able to see information very quickly and is a nice summary view. The text note editor is exported as a comment field. I tend to like the word export better. You can just see it more visible. You have options to include a different columns when you export. I'll demonstrate those options when I present the project schedule. This summarizes the solar panel project WBS. This reflects the update to the WBS that I uploaded previously. I also have shown the features of using MindView. I demonstrated the outline view, the text note where I can create the WBS dictionary, links to websites where I have uploaded the documents, and then the advantages of being able to export content to Word and also to Excel. I want to thank you for joining me. Please let me know if you have questions. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye.